Hey, Tracy here, and I just wanted to take a quick moment to share uh, some words of wisdom that a friend helped me with many years ago, and it's really affected um, the way I use my words, literally. Um, so, Dana Milner, if you ever happen to be watching this, thank you so much, and um, I'm happy to be passing this on. So I don't know exactly what personal woes I was sharing with Dana once upon a time many years ago, but my conversation went something like this. So my problem is, and he stopped me right there, Tracy, it's not a problem, it's a challenge. So stop yourself right now and reword your conversation with my challenge and I did that and I realized how different it feels when our brain hears that we have a problem my problem is we're owning it and it's like when you have a problem with your sink or electricity what do we do we find someone else to fix it because because we don't know how to deal with it. And problems are heavy energy, and it's like we just, um, they create a block, they stop us from moving forward in life, and sometimes we just accept them. Like, well, it's a problem, I uh, guess I'm just gonna have to deal with that. And they just make us feel poopy. And no one wants to feel poopy. So listen to yourself. Uh, or even catch other people when you're having these conversations about how to make life better and say my challenges because when the brain hears challenge that's something we can work through right it lightens up the load of whatever it is we're dealing with and it says that there is a solution but we just maybe haven't found it yet you know we're just stuck in the middle somewhere um, and the more you catch yourself doing this, I think the quicker you will be able to find solutions to what the challenge is, to getting from point A to point B. And um, it's really as simple as that. It's all about baby steps, right? So whatever problems you have now, tell yourself, that they're just a challenge. So cheers to working through things in life and thanks again Dana. Um, oh this, um, I wanted to share my delicious little recipe here that I'm beveraging on. Um, today I made a cocoa maca drink but I used um, coconut milk and um, go organic and high quality as you can um, but if you're on any type of a regimen a cleansing to where you can't have caffeine sugars um, you know wheat gluten additives etc um, use coconut milk and then there's raw cacao and um, maca root in here Peruvian and it's all natural and there's so many wonderful um, fatty acids in the coconut milk that and coconuts itself the flesh um, that's going to help cleanse your body um, of fungals so a lot of antifungals um, and in the raw cacao there's many vitamins and essential minerals for us and maca is fabulous I try to share the word of maca to anyone I can. Um, it's a natural stimulant. It's uh, from a root at the highest elevation in the Andes. It's been used for centuries. Um, it was actually used like before war, um, but it's also a little secret. It boosts libido. So um, use it like a teaspoon a day in a beverage and um, Put it in a smoothie and I trust you, you will notice the difference. 
um, and give it a week or two. It's good for hormone balancing. Um, it helps um, regulate our blood sugars. So it's it's just great. Love maca, love raw cacao. So cheers to a coconut kogomaka. <laughs> Thank you, peace and blessings to you all.